Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Let's go. St. John Parish Church. Once again, Anglican Episcopal. And this is another tomb here. Here lieth the body of Mary Margaret Husbands, wife of John Husbands of London. I can't even see behind the pipe here blocking it. So as I said before, St. John's Parish Church is a very historic church and it gives awesome views of the East Coast of Barbados. The tomb here for Ivy Branch Badshaw, Neil McConney, died the 30th of August 1974 at age 91 years. And Iris and her daughter, Iris Banotti, SCM, died the 2nd of September 1988 at the age of 73 years. Iris Banotti was the founder of Andromeda Gardens, which is in St. Joseph, Andromeda Botanical Gardens. Iris Banotti was a horticulturist. And she founded Andromeda Gardens, which is in St. Joseph. Andromeda Botanical Gardens, which is on the way to Bathsheba. And this is the group of a map showing you around the church, around the churchyard. And this is the site of St. John Parish Church here. And it gives awesome views of the East Coast. St. John Parish Church is situated on a cliff. Looking in a northeasterly direction toward um, the parishes of St. Joseph and St. Andrew, the two Scotland district parishes to the east of the island. You can see all the hills of the Scotland district here with Chalky Mount, all in St. Andrew. The Scotland district is filled with hills. It is referred to as the Scotland district because of its resemblance to the Scotland countryside. And this is all the east coast here, you can see from with Bathsheba. This is St. John Parish Church, is a part of Hackerton's Cliff here in Barbados. So only certain people can get buried in this cemetery, only certain people. Not, not everybody. Most people get buried at the cemetery, which is on the other side of the road. So this is the grave of Samuel Lewis Mears, born 1834 and died in 1922. By grace are ye saved through the faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Ephesians 11 verse 8, directed by his children. So this is the this is Clifton Hall Village below here and Church View. It is referred to as Church View or Clifton Hall with the Martins Bear bus passes. You can see all in this hills of the Scotland district. All the east coast here. And St. John Parish Church here. It was built in 1645. Destroyed by Fire in 1676, rebuilt in, rebuilt in 1676, and then destroyed by the hurricane of 1831. Then it was rebuilt in 1836. The Samuel Lewis Mears grave. Yes, guys. So the parish of St. John is filled with mirrors, which is also my family's. I have family from this parish. The mirrors is from St. John are my relatives. They are my relate they are related to me. The former priest, Canon Mirrors of this church was I think he was a relative of mine as well. So the mirrors are related to me. My mother is a mirror, so the mirrors is 
for St. John and St. Joseph are my relatives. So, as I before, lots of famous barbarians are buried here in St. John Parish Church Cemetery. But only certain people can get buried here, not everybody. So, Hakadon Cliff is a very big place. It runs from here. So, this is the southeastern side of Hakadon Cliff. Hakadon Cliff, the main cliff itself, runs from the other side by. Um, out Easy Hall side, out Marvin side, that's where you go and get the good view of the East Coast and so on. That's the main cliff itself, and it runs all over to St. Joseph by St. Joseph Parish Church at Harvard. So, this is the grave of Ferdinando Paleologus, descended from the emperor line of the last Christian emperors of Greece, church warden of this parish from 1655 to 1656, vestryman 12, 20 years, he died the 3rd of October 1678. And he was buried standing up. So this is another historic site in Barbados. And this is the grave of Honorable Richard Haynes, who was of Easy Hall Plantation. He, he was the one who gave the plot of land for the building of the Mount Tabor Moravian Church, which is also in this parish. Mount Tabor Moravian Church was built in 1825 in this parish, in the parish of St. John. Honorable Richard Haynes of Easy Hall Plantation, which is in St. John, eldest son of G John A. Haynes of Newcastle Plantation, died May 8, 1937 at age 81 years and his wife Mary Howell Haynes of Newcastle died 22nd of July at age 97. So this is the East Coast here. Oh, the St. John Church Cemetery here. And this is the grave of Thomas Henry Seeley, son of Sir John Seeley and Isabella Seeley, born the 40th of January 1845 and died the 20th of June 1904, erected by his son Charles W. M. Seeley. And this is all the church cemetery here. And this is all the character grave here. And this is the Taylor grave. This is the sundial. And this is a lovely view of the East Coast of Barbados, southeastern you now, looking down towards Bath Beach. You can see the ruins for the old Bath Plantation. This is your, this is Pothouse Village below here, where the Pothouse Spring is. And you can see all to St. Philip, which is southeast by the East Point Lighthouse. And you can see College Savannah and Farther School in St. Philip. College Savannah is in St. John, but that is close to St. Philip. And Farther School is in St. Philip with the Farther School Spring. And you can see the, but you don't think you can see St. Mark's Church from here. And this is the binoculars here for distant viewing. Coming up to the grave, you can see the David Thompson Polyclinic over here. Coming up to the grave of our one of our Prime Ministers, David Thompson. He is buried here, David John Howard Thompson, Queen's Council and Member of Parliament, born December 25th, 1961, and died the 23rd of October, 2010. Uh, Pothouse Village, Pothouse St. John. So by the way, St. John is the parish in Barbados where the majority of the white Barbadian population originated from. 
they were originated in the parish of St. John. Most of them, like Professor Henry Fraser, they originated from the parish of St. John, as well as Professor, um, uh, I mean, Professor Henry Fraser and Goddard, that owned the Goddard group of companies. The old courtesy garage that sells Nissan vehicles and Goddard tires and the Goddard supermarket and so on. He is also from St. John. And the, um, and they also have the the um, Carl Williams and his brother Ralph Busy Williams. They are from St. John as well. So most of the white people from Barbados originated from the parish of St. John. So this is St. John's Rectory over here, where the priest lives or used to live. You can see the staircase here with the bell free, where the bell is. So the church is now closed. So this is St. John Parish Church here, Anglican Episcopal. And it is also a Barbados National Trust property. And a building of historic and architectural interest. St. John Parish Church, first erected in 1645. Destroyed by fire and rebuilt in 1676. Destroyed by hurricane and rededicated in 1836. And it's from this point now that we can get a good view of the east coast of Barbados. This is the cliff here below the church. St. John Parish Church here. So this is Clifton Hall Village. And behind here is the East Coast of Barbados. And the binoculars here for distant viewing. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.